Hey everybody, it's your friend Shreet and welcome back to Latte Learners. Always learn something new. In today's video, I'm gonna take a break from space. We're gonna shift our topic from space to human blood. In today's video, I'm going to answer three main questions. Here they come. What causes human blood to be red? Well, if blood is red, then why are veins blue? If our blood is red, then do all other animals' blood be red too? Or is it different? Let's get started. But before I move on, please remember to subscribe, like, and share a lot to learners. The people who did it, thank you a lot. The people who didn't, now I know so do so. Also, please remember to smash a like at Latte Learners Facebook page and follow Latte Learners at Instagram and Twitter. Let's zoom into the topic. Let's start with the first question of today. Why is blood red? You know what blood mainly consists? It consists of plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Well, in this scenario, red blood cells do all the work. The red blood cells, basically, each one of them contain some protein. What's their name? Hemoglobin. What's hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is basically an iron-rich protein, and this is the key to the red hue of blood. When hemoglobin mixes with the oxygen, that interaction gives humans red blood. We're going to move on to our next question. If blood is red, then why are veins blue? Basically, in our bodies, there are two pipes that carry the blood. The first pipe is called arteries. Arteries basically carry the blood that was already pumped from our heart and it transfers it to your, our bodies. Why? Because it carries all the necessities that the whole body needs, such as oxygen or water. The arteries blood that it carries is bright red, while the veins blood is dark red. But we haven't answered the question, then why are veins blue? Deoxygenated blood is dark red. It flows through the veins. The deoxygenated blood absorbs red light, which comes from the sun. Yet, it's, you know, our veins are still blue. Why? <sighs> Simple answer. It's an optical illusion. How? Neither the blood nor the veins are blue. So as I told you, the simple answer is that it's just an optical illusion. Now we're going to move on to our last question of the day. If our blood is red, do all other animals have red blood? The simple answer is N-O, no. Yes, indeed, no. You know how? Let's see. Let's take squids, octopuses, spiders, etc. These animals actually don't have red blood like ours. They have blue blood. Why, don't ask me, has hemocyan. Hemocyan, instead of hemoglobin, is the protein that is the pigment contained in those blue cells. When hemocyan binds with oxygen, that interaction eventually gives the octopus, squids, etc. its blue blood color. Now we're going to move on to our last and final color of the day. Green. Well, the green blood is mostly in lizards. How? Well, don't ask me. Ask Billiburden slash chlorocruinin. Chlorocruinin contains iron. And when chlorocruinin binds with oxygen, their interaction gives lizards its green blood color. Now that we're wrapping up this, this video, we're going to give a little summary. We have discussed about three main blood colors. There's human blood, which contains hemoglobin. There's blue blood, which contains hemocyan. And there's green blood, which contains boliverdin slash chlorocruinin. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you didn't, please remember to subscribe, like, and share a lot to learners. If you have time, please remember to smash a like on Latte Learners' Facebook page. Follow Latte Learners at Instagram and Twitter. Now stay tuned. This is Ashita signing off. Bye, everybody.